So, what is botany? Botany is the scientific study of plants. Like most scientific fields, it has many specialties. For example, phytochemistry, the study of plant chemistry, ethnobotany, the study of how humans use plants, paleobotany, the study of fossilized plants, and, of course, plant taxonomy, the classification of plants. Have you ever wondered what a plant is? It seems pretty obvious. Plants have green leaves, they grow on land, etc. But as Douglas Adams famously wrote, it is an important and popular fact that things are not always what they seem. Would you consider a mushroom a plant? Are algae plants? What about lichens? This Japanese red maple doesn't have green leaves. Is it a plant? So what are some characteristics of plants? Plants store information in the form of genes. Plants reproduce and pass their genes on to their descendants. Plants are able to survive in their own environment by adapting to it. Plants have chlorophyll and are photosynthetic. Plants do not have a purpose or decision-making capability. Plants have nuclei and cell walls. Plants can't move. Back to mushrooms. Are mushrooms plants? No. At one time, scientists considered mushrooms to be plants. They seem like plants because they don't move, but genetically and biochemically, they are very different. Mushrooms do not make their food using photosynthesis like plants. Instead, they make food by metabolizing dead and decaying organic matter like leaves in a compost pile. Are algae plants? Well, a type of green algae have cells that are similar to plant cells and they have chlorophyll and are photosynthetic like plants. But they differ from plants in other ways. Some scientists consider green algae to be plants and some do not. What about lichens? Lichens look a lot like mosses, which are considered plants, but they are very different. Lichens actually consist of several organisms living together, including algae, cyanobacteria, and fungi. So no, lichens are not plants. What about this Japanese red maple? Yes, Japanese red maple is a plant. It has all of the characteristics we associate with plants. It has cells with nuclei and cell walls, genes that are passed on to its descendants. It doesn't move, and it survives in its own environment and it even has chlorophyll. The leaves are red because red compounds called anthocyanins cover up the green chlorophyll, but it is still there. Over the years, gardeners have selected the plants with the reddest leaves, creating cultivars with red leaves. This process is called artificial selection. So remember, botany is the scientific study of plants, and plants have many characteristics some of which they share with other organisms like animals, and some they do not share.